Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited fecal multiplication. The ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with BSS. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision. Now, capsulorexis is done with the help of a uterata forceps. A capsular tag is raised by the tip of the uterata. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size to rexis. Now, hydrodissection is done with basis. This is a 27 gauss cannula attached to a 2 cc syringe. The nucleus is mobilized. Again, the antechamber is filled up with visco, and then a pre chopper is used to divide the nucleus into fragments. I just divided the nucleus into two heminuclei. The chamber is filled up again, and now I introduce the handpiece. The tip of the handpiece is introduced to it is bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed now each heminucleus is chopped and the fragment is emulsified ultrasonic energy used is 60 percent fluoride is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury the other heminucleus is also chopped and the fragments are emulsified. And now, most of the cortex have has come out. The antechamber is again filled up with visco and a Simco cannula is used to remove these cortical lens fibers. Most of the fibers are removed. Yes, the posterior capsule is very clean, and now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens will be implanted. Before that, this is polishing of the posterior capsule. The main wound is enlarged a bit because I am using a big cartridge. Now the lens goes. In this case, I could not place the lens in the bag. Here it is. It is in the anterior chamber. I used the irrigating probe itself to place the lens in the capsular bag. Here it goes. First the trailing haptic went into the bag and the leading haptic. And now the side, this is moxifloxacin. Now the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And then a final lavage with BSS is done. Any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium is removed at this time. The antechamber is nicely formed. Integrity of the wounds a check, few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.